y'all. It's your girl, Nelly D. And I got the one and only Drew with me. How y'all doing? And Welcome. We cannot forget to introduce the Nelly Drayton, known as at Nelly Drayton on social media. Please give us some love, baby. Show us love. Please. We want that real love. Oh. I'm searching for the real love. We got different lyrics, but same rhythm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, um, Spotify <laughs> listeners. We try to be mindful of the audio, mm. but we get a little hyped up, and we're excited because there's so much that's in store for the show, and it's not just for YouTubers. It's not just for Spotify listeners. This is going beyond. Yeah. It just just join the journey with us. Make yeah. sure you subscribe, like, comment, tell us where you're from, what state you're listening from, mm. city, all that good stuff. Join us in this journey. We're going up. We're going up. And we want to make things. This show is going to be so much more than just a YouTube show. It's going to be so much more than just a podcast show. We want it to be a show where people who feel the way we feel, people who see life the way that we see life, even those who don't, can feel like what we got going on involves them too. And that is... that is. We can't even, really, we can't even touch on it too much because we're so excited about the kind of ideas that we're just spitballing off of each, of each other. I can't even talk, girl. It's, it's so good. It's it's definitely a thing. It's good. This, it's this creative right here, since this show is about creative people, <laughs> we're going to shout out this creative right here. Girl, we've got, we've, <laughs> I, I'm not even going to talk about it. Take it away. <laughs> Take it away. As he's saying, listen, the creative journey is a long one, very tedious at times, but it's always worth it, especially when you meet with like-minded individuals. Yeah. So make sure you guys show him some love. LOL underscore probably Drew has a whole backstory on that. It's one of my favorites. It does. And if you've, if you've been keeping up, you already know. Yeah. You already know. Check the other episodes. Matter of fact, we'll wait. You go ahead, we'll sit right here and we'll wait a second or two. Mm-hmm. And then once you're done watching the previous episodes, come back and just let us know, hey, we're back from the other episodes. Yeah. And, and, and then we're going to pick we'll, it up. We'll pick up. Pick yeah. up right where you left off. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. See, see you later. <laughs> see you later. Let us know when you're back. Meet you there. <laughs> right. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to get into it. <laughs> Remember that used to be a thing where you went, people were zoom. dabbing, yeah, dabbing all Girl. the time. And so it, for Spotify, yeah. Spotify, Lord, tongue the twister, edits. for Spotify listeners, we were just dabbing. I know, yeah. right? I, yeah. I'm, I'll, I'll be honest. We'll be transparent. When we were making these videos, we did not have like Spotio. We, we we weren't. I don't want to say we weren't mindful, but we were definitely giving more love to the camera than the microphone so yeah. for you spotify people if you have been keeping up up until this point baby mm-hmm. we about to spoil you baby <laughs> we about to give you some love so you about to get some mclovin for sure yeah if this was my own microphone it would i would have already deep throated the microphone but since it's not i'm gonna give some respect mm-hmm. so spotify listeners maybe next episode that can be your experience, but for this one, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it classy, as as much as as we can. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, Casa in the Cup, girl. Hashtag ca- Casa, Casa in, in the, the Cup. cup girl. If you don't know, go the Casa back. in the Cup has been emptied, refilled, emptied again, refilled. So we Casa in a Cup times two, baby. Oh. It's given. <laughs> Too much casa in the cup. <laughs> Not too much. Hashtag too, too much casa, casa in, in the, the cup. cup. Keep the casa out the cup. Ooh, that's a bar, baby. Keep the casa girl. out the cup. We about to. This is about to be a whole different kind of show. <laughs> this is about to be a whole different kind of show, girl. 
Listen. It's about to be uh, Wild Out with Nick Cannon. Wild Shout out. Wild Lynn. Hold on. What do he say? Uh, uh, what do you see Young Fly say about Ice JJ Fish? Who you got your nickname from, too, but your nickname JJ. You slipped on some ice trying to eat a fish. It was toilet ass, but. This is not related to Wild and Out, but I remember <laughs> that. He said, well, you, I know where you got your nickname, too, boy. Your nickname JJ. You slipped on the ice stick trying to eat a fish tick. I said, Look, no low key, low key. He's a young fly. Yeah, low key. Wild and Out be having some lyricists. They and be having do. some that um, I don't know that the short one. Conceited. Yeah, where he's like, cut the DJ. Know what I do when I'm rocking heat? A O D Rex, stop the beat. <laughs> he's about to, he's about to step he's about to, first person. Yeah, he be calling him out. He like you. And I'd be like, oh, what's he about to say? He'd be eating them up. Yeah, he'd be eating them up. Going and low key, low key, the little white girl, Justina, mm -hmm. she'd be eating them little bitches up too. I'd she be do. like, she's Damn, funny. She got boss. Mm -hmm. But you know, her, well, no, we'll say that for another moment. Never mind. I was going to get messy. I like her. Okay. I do. Well, we'll, we'll okay. save the messy for I'll another. I'll put that in my notes. Yeah, put it in the notes. Put it. Put, a, those, a, put pen. a pen in put it. Put it. Drop a pen on it. Mm. Yeah, we definitely go Here, and save it. Look, oh, 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 he said click, click on the keyboard. Listen, without further ado, we're going to get into it. Yes. That was a little pre-show. Yes. Welcome to the real show, the Nelly Drayton Show, where creative souls gather to go beyond. Let's get into it. So today's topic is going to be a variety of things. Mm -hmm. We've had a long day. Bear with us. Please. We're going to just kind of go into some lyrics yeah. because, first they of all, words are, words are powerful. Yeah. And as a creative individual her time she's an icon she's a legend and she is the moment i'm sorry about that guys i get interrupted no, by my on. fridge very often and r.i.p to wendy williams i don't think she has much time with us oh my god i'm oh, just saying all right oh woo, i'm sorry oh ooh, cut that ooh, ooh. post nelly cut that <laughs> girl i didn't mean that i'm post sorry baby. baby i just it's too much casa it's in too the much cup. casa in the cub just the casa in listen, the cup has run us over you all Ugh. let's 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 start something right sorry. just put hashtag too much casa in the cup too some people are not gonna know right you put that in the comments you put that on spotify in the chat yeah. they're not gonna know unless they listen but that's gonna be our thing what we getting into is just the power of lyrics and one song in particular mm. that we were just talking about before cameras and mics got hot is beyonce's lemonade album mm. personal personally um that's yeah no i just I got lyrics. I can literally just keep going. Like, yeah, you're good at it. If you just give me a word, I'm pretty sure I can maybe, or give me at least a sentence, a couple of words. I can find a song that matches the lyrics to the words that you just said. It's just the way it. It's just the way it is. Oh no no no. Okay, how about this? <laughs> Things whatever. I can't with you. Okay, we're gonna do like a like have like a little game. I'm going to tell you the lyrics. Oh, boy. I want you to guess what song it is. Okay. And then after that, we'll kind of like dive into it a little bit. And we'll keep it like short and quick and cute. Okay. 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 Well, hold on. Nothing else ever seems to hurt like the smile on your face. When it's only in my memory, it don't hit quite the same. Maybe it's a cause for concern, but I'm not at ease keeping my head to the curb. It's it's lemonade. Really? It's lemonade. Okay, it must be one of those songs that I did not listen to. Sorry, Beyonce. Okay, let, like me, let me do one more. The one that is might with it, the letter A. No, no, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I'll do one. Well, this will kind of give it away. Because I probably was singing it before. Well, no, no, no. I I can do the first the first bar, the first little um, verse because it's it's pretty iconic. Okay. You can taste the dishonesty It's all over your breath As you pass it off so cavalier But even that's a test Constantly aware of it all My lonely ear pressed against the walls of your world That's crazy Now mind you For those who be like hating on Beyonce Saying like oh you know she, This is her shit I don't know if like she can have all the writing credit But this is her shit And even if it isn't her shit This is shit that's based off of her life so this is good shit. It's it's pray pray you catch me, pray pray you catch me is the name of the song. See, I didn't. Okay, so we're getting so, ready to talk about the Lemonade album. But yes, but, but I did not listen to all the songs. 
I did. So Pray You Catch Me is kind of like a play on, you know, I hope you don't feel the way I feel if I were to do the same shit that you did to me. So I, I pray you catch me whispering because if I were to do the shit that you was going to do, you don't want to feel the way I'm feeling right now. Mm. That's the vibe that I get from pray you catch me whispering. Because I think what she's saying mm. is you pray better, you, you hope, whispering. yeah, you Ooh. hope that what I do is only a whisper. Because if I were to come out in these streets and talk about the shit that, we, that needs to be talked about, mm-hmm. shit's going to blow up. I, I like that song. It's really nice. It's a, it's a great opener. I, I definitely like need to. I didn't. Yeah, and you need to uh, use the visual the album. Videos for me. Yeah, the vi- well, the visual album is. I mean, Chef's Kiss for sure. I can see why people were up in arms. I I can't forget that that time when she released this, and then she was up for nominations, and she didn't win. She didn't win like Grammys. She did not win a Grammy. She won a Grammy. <laughs> she didn't. Everyone was. She was slated to win like Artist of the Year or um. Album of the Year, she was slated to win Album of the Year, which is like the most coveted award you can get at the Grammys, and mm-hmm. it went to Adele, and Adele shouted her out, like, she was like, you know, I know, so she was like, <laughs> me and my ho- me and my friends, me and my black friends, we listen to you, and we feel strong and powerful, we listen to you. Is that when Beyonce, like, started getting teary out yeah. the camera, went and, to her? Yeah, she was, like, doing her thing, yeah, because... I mean, Adele was, like, shouting her out. Because Adele was like, I love you, Beyonce. You're amazing, really. I love you. I know. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, it was on, great. girl power. Okay, next one. This one you'll you'll probably get. Uh, hold on. I'm not as okay. familiar with the album like I thought I was. It's okay. No, you are. It's just, I'm reading the lyrics... I'm reading them like poetry when you're used to hearing them like being sung. Mm. Okay. What's worse? Looking jealous or crazy? Jealous or crazy? Hold up. They don't don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't don't love you like I love you. Back up. I can't get any lower than that. So, unpacking. Hold up. (laughs) What is that song? Okay. She's still singing. It's okay. Have your moment. Mm -mm, Have your moment. Can't sing. Mm -mm. Well, okay. Um... So, <laughs> it's like a gavel, 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 gavel. Order. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we're having too much fun. It's it's hard to be productive in in work when you're having fun. <laughs> Order. <laughs> the audio. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I had to be loud in order to get it out. I couldn't get it out. The other sorry, way. Spotify. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, girl. We're gonna like probably like. Modulate that so yeah. it's not your too voice. Much. Yeah, it's sorry, girl. My sorry. sorry, ladies we and gentlemen, friends. So, um, hold up. What's unpack? What does it mean to you? What do you get? What is what is the vibe? What is the message that hold up gets it's to you? It's giving. Can't you see? There's no other man above you. What a wicked way to treat the girl that loves you. Yeah, it's giving. I'm just too much for you. It's giving, I'm mm. too good of a woman for you, and you just really ain't it. And you know that you ain't it. That's why you trying to treat me like I ain't sh- Let me just you- Let me just read this lyric for you, okay? Which, we've heard it, but this is this is the lyric that always, like, I don't know, it, it resonates with me. And I just read it, but we're going to read it again. What's worse... Looking jealous or crazy. Ooh, that part. Jealous or crazy. Jealous or crazy. Or like being walked all over lately. Walked all over lately. I would rather be crazy. Same. Yeah. Because at least when I'm being crazy, that's control that I have. Mm -hmm. If you're walking all over me, I have no control. You are like, you are dampening me. So if I'm going to be crazy, at least I can own that. I can step Mm -hmm. in that and say, I chose that. Yeah. Instead of surrendering to someone's actions and then realizing that I'm being trampled. Right. Absolutely not. So I thought continue the conversation I, from later, but I from definitely early. I like that. I Yeah. It's definitely a preference. Um I would definitely prefer to be crazy. Yeah, because there's degrees. Yeah. You know, like crazy could 
people's interpretation of crazy might be different. Like, crazy could be like, oh my god, like, he's driving me crazy. Like, I just want to, ugh. Or crazy could be like, I didn't just slash his tires. I removed his tires from his car. And threw them, like, in the Ohio River. The Ohio. So I not only did I remove his, but I put them in my vehicle, drove them down to the bridge. There's levels. Threw them into the Ohio River, and then I took a selfie. There's degrees. There is. There's degrees. That's a really crazy example. And I, yeah. just thinking about it, I'm trying to imagine myself. Doing, I don't think that anyone has ever hurt me that bad to the point where, where I want to do that. I don't even want to yeah. like. I've never. I, I don't care what I've been through on this on this floating rock. Mm-hmm. No one has ever made me feel so crazy that I have to do anything dramatic. It's like I'm I just. I can't say the same. Oh. Now my my again there are degrees. What I consider to be like oh my god that's so crazy, is different than what other people might seem to be crazy but yeah. again like i said in previous episodes the warfare that i do is psychological baby you you can easily figure out who took your tires and put them in the high river and let them you know drift down you can figure that out but the things that you're like who would ever do this <laughs> me that's me well <laughs> that was me <laughs> I don't give people that energy anymore. You'd have to really like be something. At, at, at that point, everyone was getting that energy. You, mm-hmm. you would have there would have to be some kind of like level that we would have to be on to get that kind of energy. But I, to be honest, I don't think I'd ever do anything like that. Yeah. But th- I, I can say that I, I have somebody has made me feel something. But I think that was not them making me feel something. I think it was them putting a mirror up to me and me yeah. seeing things about myself that I wasn't comfortable with. Ooh, that's like a self, a self word. observation. That's me. Honestly, yes. like I, I'm probably the most inflective person that I know. Like mm-hmm. I, I look inwards at everything. And that's important. Even though we've been kind of, mm-hmm. we're not touching on anything too serious about like yeah. creatives and how to kind of function in this thing we call life. Mm. He's touching on something that's like very important. Self-reflection yeah. is that's like I want, I want to do an episode that. where we really like unpack serious like interpersonal skills yeah like I, I think we like, I want to do an episode about unpacking baggage that's a it's big coming. thing it's yeah coming. We're, we're gonna get into it but we're really trying to focus right now on like creator focused content well maybe not so much like right this very second not ev- <laughs> <laughs> maybe right this moment, cause i'm about to get into these lyrics but the meat of our show is going to be about having a, a space where people who are like us who think like us people who want to create like us mm-hmm. can enjoy a conversation where people who do that mm-hmm. are navigating it yeah um and something to really like put the cherry on top of what he just said one day here soon we'll probably break down like how this got started yeah because that's really like what we're trying to discuss or what we are discussing and what we're going to continue to put out there is just little tidbits of things that we've developed on our own personal life separately before we met Mm -hmm. and then once we met we're like let's just do this yeah and that's kind of like just an idea of how maybe life can be for anybody. Yeah. You continue to grow and work on yourself. You go through ups and downs, etc. Then the creativity really starts to flow, yeah. especially when you meet the right people. You know, you said something that just reminded me of this clip. So I saw something, I think it was on Instagram while I was trying to like promote our shit. Mm-hmm. Um, Issa Rae, I'm sure you're familiar. Yes, Issa Rae. absolutely. Is it, is it Issa or Issa? Issa? Issa Rae. I can never know. It's, I don't know. I, I, I might be having that. No, you. Too. I think it is Issa. Issa, right? She says something about because actually, I think it was what you reposted on your story. It is. That's exactly what it is. I, I watched it. Yeah. Obviously, you can tell I be tuning in. <laughs> um. So, for those who may not necessarily follow Nelly at this time, or for those who do, you can you know relate to this moment because you may have seen it as well. Um. She reposted something by Issa Rae. And it was saying something about how, like, she met people 
um, at a time where, you know, she just wanted people that she had, like, an energy with to, like, join her. And when she did that, she f- realized that that energy radiated and invited people who were very similar to her to the space. And she realized that once you, like, kind of realize that people who are like you are flocking to you, when you look around the people that you... You go ahead. I think it's a plane. I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah, I some I just th- I started to hear. I apologize. It, it, it was like a, a a crescendo. Yeah, it like it, was growing. It definitely had me on. Like, do we need to? She I, was listen, like, "That's how cinematic I am." I'd be re- I'd be thinking that she, like you ever she had seen, the whole exit plan. La- Last of Us. Um, um, I was I was yes. I get ready with I am Legend. I'd be thinking to myself like, okay, guns on the table. No low shoes, key like. Bag. Already got a backpack by the door. Do you remember the spare keys? What was it Wednesday when we had that meeting at work? Was it Wednesday we had that meeting? I I don't know if you recall, but do you remember when I was like, "Oh, there's the stairs. I've been looking for those." When did you? We we walked past the stairs. I didn't even know we had stairs on our floor. Because I've been looking. I've been. I. I've been. Because I'm. I am a. I. I prepare. I'm like, if anything were to ever happen, we need to know how to escape. So guess what, girl? You found the stairs. I found the stairs. So if something happens, if and I'm if wherever I'm running, bitch, follow me. Which I don't have to say that because you know how we do. We don't say nothing. We, we make, when I, we see, see somebody, somebody running, running we, and you just run. With we them. will ask questions when we get to a safe destination. Right. Well, and even then, everything. hell, I may not. I may just get in my car. And like I'm done for the day. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and go home. What's the point? What's, what's, what's the reason? What oh was the reason? God. Oh, my God. My okay, brain let's... is having a tiny conniption. Trying to... Girl, but anyway, the point okay. of that was we heard something <laughs> immediately went into flight or flight. That's a thing. That's another thing that we can unpack later. We will unpack later, fight or flight. But just to kind of go back to, ooh, just to kind of go back to mic check, mic check, lyrics. I mean, Beyonce... Child. Okay, I, All of I might have to skip this one because you're you're gonna know. Why? Just let me take this W. Okay. Let me get this W. <laughs> um. Okay. And keep your money. I, I got get, my own. Oh. See a bigger smile on my face. Be in the loan. Bad motherfucker. God complex. Motivate your ass. Call me Malcolm X. Your operator. Innovator. Fuck you, hater. You can't recreate it now. Okay. So. We just gotta let it be. We can unpack that right here, right we now before we shut it right down. Right here, right now. She said, you just gotta let it be, let it be, let it be, baby. Hey, baby. And, and notice and how she, she said that, you. You just gotta so, let it be. She let's let's really unpack this. We all know, or f- even for those who don't know, lemonade is pretty much about the adultery or or the um, situation where Jay Z has stepped dog. out. Yeah, Jay Z had stepped out of of the marriage Gross. between him and Beyonce. So she's writing a song where she says, "The girl who's been cheated, you gotta let it be." Why is she saying to the person who stepped out on their marriage? That they need to let it be. Why is that? She was saying that to Jay Z. Is that what you're? You just gotta let it be. I thought Here. she was saying that like to us. Like she says, first first chorus. This is the pre-chorus. We just gotta let it be. Let it be. Let it be, baby. You just gotta let it be. Let it be. Let it be, babe. So she said, we just gotta let it be. So she starts off saying we. So this is a this is an us journey. Mm. And then she says, you got to let it be. I thought she, when she says you, I thought that. You just got to let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, baby. Oh. You just got to let it be. If I was Beyonce and I had been cheated on with somebody and I, instead of saying, you know what, you're a. Dog. Yeah. Ruff, ruff. You, uh, uh, you got to go. I'm <laughs> going to say, you know what, in the famous words of. What was the reason? reason? When we unpack that reason, then I'm going to say, you know what? You got to, you need to live in this. Don't just say, I'm sorry and think, oh, we're good because she's not mad at me. 
No, live with this. You did this. For the rest of your life. You did this. If if we had a, which no marriage is perfect. Mm. But if, if any marriage were to be as close to perfect, let's say we had that. And then you did this. Okay. Whatever happens after that, you don't get to point fingers at me and say, well, you're being crazy. You're doing this. You're doing that. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm that. being a human being who's reacting to a situation that's causing me trauma. And whenever I get over that, great. You going to get over it, though? You going to unpack it? You going to work through that? Because you don't just have someone like, you know, I'm assuming, as much as I know about Beyonce, you don't have someone like Beyonce and step out on that and then just say, all right, we good because you ain't mad at me. You ain't going to leave me. No, we're going to work on that. And you're going to figure something out. And even when I'm not mad at you, great. That's not just because you, you don't get to just get a pass. Hold on. She said, big homie better grow up. Ooh. Me and my roadies about just to show up. up. I see them boppers in the, the corner. corner. Ooh, what'd she say before that? Hold on. I Is it in the song? Sorry. I ain't sorry. Oh, I think it's the next one. I picking up it is okay so we're not gonna guess i left a note in the hallway by the time you read it out be far away she ooh, i love that whole part she said let's give a toast to the good life suicide before you see these tears fall down my eyes okay that's me and my baby we gonna be all right that's you we gonna live a good life Big homie better grow up. And there's a reason. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I left a note in the hallway. By the time you read it, I'll be far away. I'm far away, but I ain't fucking with nobody. Let's have a toast to the good life. Suicide before you see these tears fall down my eyes. Me and my baby, we gonna be all right. We gonna live a good life. Big homie better grow up. Me and my woadies about to stroll up. I see them boppers in the corner. They sneaking out the back door. He only want me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. He better call Becky with the good hair. I like the visuals. That's why that song really touched me more than anything. I like the yeah. I like the big homie better grow up. It's like a slow mo but fast. Because she's using her body to express like the tension that she's probably like holding, keeping herself from like. But the way she like the effects, I don't. Mm -hmm. I wish I can talk to the person that edited it, like the cinematographer and editor, because how did you get her to look like she's moving fast but moving slow, huh? She does that. That's like a theme with her. She does that a lot, where she does like a lot of like time, like. There has to be some edits though. They have. The, yeah, no, way no, no, that no. You look like one hundred percent. There's no way she's doing that on her own. I mean, she's talented. I'll give credit to Beyonce. She is oh, an yeah, icon. No, no, she's absolutely. a legend. She is the moment. But just from an editor standpoint, absolutely, I'm, there's I'm no just, way she's I'm done intrigued. Her own. I'm like, I w- when I watch it, I'd be like, is. Mm-hmm. I just be face, eyes, literally. You know how our parents, grandparents, advisors, teachers, your eyes is glued to the screen. Whenever I watch that music video. When Beyonce's video, on the screen. My eyes is girl. glued. Beyonce and Rihanna and Nikki. I keep hitting. Those three people, I, if they ever drop anything, I'm on it. Every time. No matter Make what. homie better grow up. And then I like the, I just like that. I like at the Sneaking very end where she's like, he only want me when I'm not there. Better call Becky with the good hair. Then she like does this and smiles and then she Better goes. Better call Shh. Becky with the good hair. The way that video ends just goes. Oh! It was fab. It was fab. It goes hard. It was fab. That's and that's why like honestly like without being like sentimental, I treasure like Lemonade. I treasure that experience that I had with that show because I know I've talked about it on here before, but like that really like it was a, a legitimate. I mean, even her self entitled album Beyonce was a surprise for me because I, I that came that literally I've never had an experience where an artist that I like really care about dropped something and I had no idea about it. Like I I didn't get the anticipation. So like the excitement, like it was very childlike to like Beyonce dropped an album out of no. Uh, uh, and then getting Lemonade in such a surprising way because I got to experience Lemonade in a way that probably a lot of people didn't experience. They probably listened to the album first and then saw the visuals. I got the visuals, the visuals first, first because I thought it was a, I thought it was a documentary. 
the way they had it styled. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a documentary. So I was like, oh, I, I love watching things about Beyonce. Like she's really a fascinating person because she's so private. So I thought I was watching a, a documentary. Turns out I was watching a visual album. Girl, I almost got fired from my job. I was on my lunch break and I went home because I live so close to my job. I was like, I'm just gonna go home and like, you know, have me some drink. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna get into this like lemonade. Girl. <laughs> I I, so I was like I don't me. even care. Oh my god! That that eight twenty five job it was fine. I was like Not I can twenty five. Girl, it was, girl, I was <laughs> minimum wage. That was that was even minimum wage at the time. But um, yeah, it was everything. It was I I treasured the experience that I got with Lemonade. It, it was an album that was, has a, a time in my heart that I'll never forget. Yeah. Okay, it's definitely I when I first got to witness the visual album. I wouldn't say I want to say that I was it was definitely an experience for me as well. It's one of those yeah. things where it's like enjoy it right now because you'll never enjoy watching it for the first time again. Seriously. Like the in-depth emotions that I was feeling. Chow, I sound but like But you I'm, can like watch it over and over and like pick up on things or like interpret it a little differently every time because Serena Williams. It, yeah. Zendaya. Zendaya, Zendaya. I'm Zendaya? calling it Zendaya. When was Zendaya? In- well, we're going to get into that. She was in there. She was she where? Was in there. Oh, see? That's why you got to. Yeah. I was not that plugged in. This was what, 2015, 2016? 2015. 2016. 20, no, it was like, it was. 2015. It had to have been like 2015. 2016. Maybe like. No, it was, it was either 2015 or 2016. I remember watching it. While I was working third shift. It might have been 2016. And you I might was working right. third shift in 2015. Well, I'm sure this will tell us. I was still with, like, my daughter's uh, father and everything. Like, I remember, like, talking to him about it, so. Oh. Yeah. And I, that's absolutely crazy. I mean, I don't even know of any other artists. And if, I mean, obviously, I'm not plugged in. Drew is. I just need y'all to understand that, oh. Okay. Our balance works for us. He's the one that's plugged in. It was 2016. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I was not. I mean, I am not. Look, I'm over here. I was not. Lord, see? <laughs> plugged in. He's plugged in. I'm not. That's just the way Like I said, it girl. It's a good, healthy balance. Is this bitch on? Is this recording? Because I and this microphone is plugged in. It's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Come on, research. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, sir. <laughs> one episode. We're going to definitely air calls. The whole... Th- oh, God, girl. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this might be considered a deep cut, but we're going to see. Dishes smashed on my counter from our last encounter. Pictures snatched at the frame. Bitch, I scratched out your name and your face. Oh. What is it? What is it about you that I can't erase, baby? When every promise don't work out that way. No, no, babe. When they, when every promise don't work out that way. You know, based off of these lyrics, I have to just say that I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. Cause you want to know what? Can't no man stress me. I can't. Girl, th- cause this Slamming is. Slamming dishes? Is, this isn't just, this huh. isn't just like, this, this is not scorn. This is hurt. This that, is pain. That's pain. I don't want that. That's I, pain. Being with a man just every day that I wake up. So here's like how life feels for me right now. Every day that I like wake up, wipe the crust out of my eye, brush the teeth, floss. Once I put on my bra, I start to really think about, I already got the weight of the world on my chest. Oh, do I really want a man to add to that? You can't, you, you cannot listen to me, (laughs) ma'am, Miss Thang. You cannot do that to me. You hear, did y'all hear what she, let me just, for the listeners, let me just reiterate what she said. When I put my bra on, I have the weight of the world sitting on my chest. Get the, if you don't write that shit down. <laughs> the energy. Oh my God, this girl, is insane. That, I'm not even a woman. I'm a, I'm a man. <laughs> he said, I feel like. I'm a I am a man, but why is this touching me? Like because it's the truth. Oh, it's that real. is that's some transcendent shit. That's some like your ancestors just came into they, your they body. They dropped that on that. me. That for was real. F- f- oh. 
I told y'all, I be, I'm not a rapper, but I spit bars. Are all hearts and minds cleared? Yeah. I think we're cleared. I think that we was... probably should be. So, <laughs> the way we broke it down, like them lyrics, let, all in all, what we want you all to get from this is listen to them lyrics. Let, it look, might inspire a short film. It might inspire some type of commercial vision. It's going to inspire something. It does. If you haven't already been inspired by music, mm. maybe this might be a sign for you to like take a deeper dive into lyrics. Yeah. For real. It, really? If you're watching this, when you when you click off this, because you need to watch this to the entirety. Absolutely. When you get done watching this, girl, go ahead and go 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 watch that visual album. Go listen to that album, because it is it don't even matter. You could be in like the most he- well, you could be in a very healthy relationship with a very healthy partner. Great, love that for you. Um, you're gonna gain something. You're gonna get some because you go, you go, you gonna walk out of this. You're gonna, you're gonna listen to the album. You're gonna, you're gonna walk to your partner and be like, "Who is she?" Whole time he's just playing. The yeah, game. whole time he is on that. He is on that video game. He ain't even talking to nobody. He got the headset on. He ain't got nobody on it. He got it on you, and you're like, "Who is she?" He's just decompressing What's from work. Her name. Tell me. It's is it crazy. Becky? I act. Oop, is not it Becky? Becky. What's her hair look like? Listen, I I, I remember one time in. This is going to kind of put my business out there a little bit. But I knew that it was downhill from here mm. when I stopped getting, when I was, um, I stopped getting called. I'm saying, that sounds so weird. I stopped getting called. Somebody okay. stopped calling you? Someone stopped, yes. Okay. A, a, someone stopped calling me, baby. And I text, I remember texting and saying that. I said, who is she? Because, uh, because. Woo! <laughs> Because it's a vibe. It's a thing. It's a vibe. Because someone taught me that. Because like, here's, okay, I will say, probably one of my most toxic, toxic exes taught mm-hmm. me this. Didn't teach me this, but it said something to me that resonated to me and, and, and spoke to me. Mm-hmm. The energy that you put into us before we are a thing is important. So if you start off this shit, give me like baby, baby girl, baby, blah, 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 baby whatever, girl. you know, oh my God, sweet things, you know, wh- whatever. And then you, you know, suddenly go into like a bruh. Who is she? Well, no, he didn't call me. I know, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when it switches up it was to like, 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 good morning, sweet, you know, good morning, sweetness or, you know, good morning, beautiful to just a straight up morning. Good morning. Who Buenos is she? Dias. I was like, who is she? Where does she live? What's her and name? And that's why I love having like male friends because I'll be like, am I tripping? Is this yeah? Is it am I am I tripping? And the answer is no. And they'll be like, nah, girl, it's no, him, it ain't you. I'm because like, Thank it, you. it is energy. It is energy. If you're gonna if. Here's my philosophy, and this is why I haven't found the one. I might be picky. I might be. I don't know. No. But whatever energy you start with, this is how I know when you're like putting something putting a front on or you're putting on if you giving me energy from the beginning and you can't keep that energy it wasn't energy that was yours to begin with you was putting on yeah keep the same energy that you started Love bombing. with Oop, sorry that's another topic no for another it day. is and I, that's, that's another we, topic yeah, for we, another day on. listen because he about to about to click on that keyboard anyways hold on let me get to the bottom here we want you to walk away from this message with maybe a sign. What you, what you, what you, what you? Got it. Yeah. We want you all to walk away from this with a sign. Like this is the time to step into a a different level of creativity. Maybe, you know, creativity is kind of blocked right now. Maybe listening to some songs and actually looking at the lyrics might inspire, might inspire you to write. It might inspire you to pick up some books. I put some books out on the other episode. Yeah. And just to really, I'm like tapping on this mic. I'm so sorry, Spotify listeners. But overall, we just want you all to be inspired. We checked into some lyrics because we were thinking about what amps up our creativity, what gets our brains going, what gets our emotions checking in. We had a topic that was like, introduced to us and for some reason we just kept going back we, we to Beyonce mm-hmm. and so we're like this obviously is like one of those things where it's like in a real life situation this is probably where we're going to turn to as well as like this moment to help us get through it so mm-hmm. we wanted to share that like 
that part of our experience because there's probably somebody out there who's like, oh my god, am I crazy because I listen to Lemonade every after every breakup? Absolutely no, not. No, no, that's how not. you. That that may be how you cope. That's how you. Cope. I have listen, and as long as you cope, and it's like in a healthy way, will always be people to they came people no more. How I cope in life, really, how I, and I've said this in a previous episode. Go back and watch it. But how I get back with my inner child. How I get back with my inner child is I rewatch the show Inuyasha. Sometimes, like, I'll just have a moment where I'm like, I need to. And then I just get my anime. Yeah. I get my stuff. And I'm just eating my food. I'm just. No, that's a vibe because I do the same thing, but I do, like, like old. Do you remember? Okay. <laughs> I can tell you exactly what I watched when I got home from, like, school. I can't stop with that, Chewing Girl. I cannot. That being said. Okay. Cut it. We've been cutting. Cut we hope you guys liked it, loved it, Ugh. and want more of it. I hope you, I really do. Cause listen, <laughs> welcome to the Nelly Drayton Show, <laughs> where creatives gather and mm. we strive every day yes. to go beyond. Thank you. See ya.